Brene Brown writes, authenticity is the choice to show up and be real. In this chapter, Caitlin Windrum shares about her struggle of being bullied and feeling like she was ashamed of who she was, feeling like she wasn't free to be who God created her to be. But Caitlin writes that we are free to be who God has created us to be. And when we know that we are loved unconditionally, we are free to stand authentic. When I was in about grade four to grade six, I was bullied by someone who I thought was my best friend. And that's something that's really hard to wrap your mind around because for a long time there, we were best friends. We spent all of our time together and eventually she started to push me away and um, tease me when I was gone and people would tell me what she would say and I didn't understand why that was happening. So it was really hard for me to trust people with, um, with my emotions, with everything that's going on in my life. Um, and she left our school in about grade eight. So that time was kind of weird because I didn't really have anybody at all to spend my time with. So it was kind of, it was really lonely and I constantly felt alone. Um, and then when I was going into grade nine, um, I moved some to a school that I felt I was constantly had somebody I could talk to and I could trust and everybody who was my friend never teased me behind my back, never told me that I was stupid or I was worthless or anything like that, that I had experienced previously. So I could open up a lot and um, tell people how I was feeling. And, um, but there was often times even at home where um, people in my family would tell me I was worthless or I, I wasn't good enough or I wasn't doing enough. So. I, had, I still had a trust issue with people and I still was experiencing that but going to school I had to have the face of oh I'm fine, I'm fine. So it was nice to have my friends there where I can talk to them and I can tell them how I'm feeling and they can go through it with me and so I didn't have to feel alone. Closer to the end of high school, um, as I got closer with people and going on trips with people and really uh, understanding who I am in Jesus and how much He loves me, I was able to be, authentic, be authentically me and be authentic in the life that I'm living and not have to pretend to be something I'm not. And it's really refreshing to have um, a group of people, um, friends that I can Consider to be my family when sometimes your family might let you down. And even when oftentimes I feel like I'm alone now, but I know that there's people I can go to and I can talk to that I don't have to be somebody I'm not, that I can tell them straight exactly how I'm feeling and be authentic with them. Being authentic has probably changed the way I feel because I don't feel a constant stress and a constant burden to um, get approval from other people and not I'm not constantly worried or anxious of what other people might think of me. Um, it's changed my life that I can stand up for myself and when people might say things about me I know that what they're saying isn't true and I know that my worth and my beauty and all of that is in Jesus and I don't need to prove to people how loved I am by Jesus. And I think that's incredible. <laughs> um, if I could say anything to you, it would be to be yourself and be true to yourself and not tr try to prove yourself to other people, um, to stand authentic in who you are and who Jesus, how God made you and um, how much Jesus loves you. Stand 
authentic. This is all about being real. Sounds simple and it can even sound cliche, but the truth is this is something that we all have a hard time with. See, there's a big difference between your image and your integrity. Your image is what you're projecting to other people. It's what you want other people to see about who you are. Integrity is who you really are, what you really like and what you really want to do and say. And we constantly have the choice to live with integrity or to project false images to the world around us. And why do we do this? Why would we even be tempted to do that? Because we don't feel loved. And ultimately, that's what we all want. So we look to other people to give us that. Maybe we say things we don't mean so that our friends think that we're cool. Maybe we do things we don't really want to do so that we feel the approval of our parents or our family. At the end of the day, we want to live lives of integrity. We want to be girls who are authentic from the inside out. Social media can make it difficult to be authentic. We're always posting things and we've got everybody's highlight reel coming across our screen when we're scrolling. The thing is, those pictures aren't real either. People are posting the very best of their lives, putting filters over top. And we know that, but it's still tempting us to give a certain image too. These are the ways that we can be tempted to live inauthentically without even realizing it. This can affect us when we start thinking about our life purpose and our careers. You want to do something in life that you were made to do. When you start doing something and you lose track of time, the time is just flying by because you are enjoying what you're doing. You're actually genuinely interested in it. That's the kind of job that you want to find yourself in one day. But sometimes we pursue the wrong things because we're trying to be a certain thing. You were created to pursue a job where you're using your skills, your talents, your abilities, and your passion so that you live and work from your heart, not just going through the motions every day. God made you to invest your heart in what you do. So be sure that you're living authentically, that you are being who you truly are, and that you're doing what God has made you to do. This is what it means to live like you are loved, to know that you have something of worth in your heart to bring to the world, to make the world a better place. This is what it means to stand authentic. After reading through chapter three, take some time to reflect and understand how this chapter can affect the way you live your life. Why is it important for you to love yourself before you can love another person sincerely? How do you benefit when you choose to act in loving ways towards someone else? When you stand authentic, you are going to be filled with joy, and that is the life that Jesus designed you to live. 